you spoke on the situation when he got shot. Uh, that was with Travis, huh? Yeah. You uh, speak on that a little bit? I mean, we was in our in our neighborhood in South Baton Rouge, and about 20 niggas in the street. I don't know if it was that many, about 10, 11 maybe. Mm -hmm. And I can't say who the shots was for, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. still don't know to this day, you know what I'm saying? But shots rang off and we got hit, you know what I'm saying? That's basically what happened. You ain't looked at life different after you got hit? No, not really. Damn. I was shell shot, like, you know, it was more of a like, a little more paranoid, like I, I didn't want to live paranoid, but for like the next year or two, like I had a little PTSD, like to uh, you know, certain sounds and shit, I react to grabbing my gun or like I react to shit differently, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. um, after a while, I just man, that shit, like even I, I rem like when you bring it up, I remember it to this day, to this like to the T, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But in my day to day, like it's nothing I ever think about. It's like that shit ain't never happened. And where you got hit at? I got hit in my ass. The bullet still stuck in my groin. Damn, you can't remove it. Mm mm. They say it's too dangerous. They say where it's lodged, it, it's it's got some like tough tissue around it, so it shouldn't go nowhere. So I should be fine. As long as you don't move. Well, no, it ain't gonna move it out. I mean, nah, it, it, it hurt a little bit when I play ball or when it get cold, you know what I'm saying? Or if I thump it, like something hit it, yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? That bitch hurt, but other than that, it ain't moving or nothing, man. No, that's good, man. I'm glad you made out that situation. Oh, yeah, most definitely.